Hi guys, <laughs> welcome to, um, uh, we're going to be doing Fagoli today. Um, as we said that we're all stuck at home and the kids are getting bored and driving us bonkers. So we said that we would do Fagoli to kind of beat the boredom. This is probably going to be the first series of videos that we're going to be doing. So here we go, basically. Okay, so the first thing, what do we need to do, yes? Um, first, we need to go wash our hands and girls need to go tie up their hair so we don't get any dirt or anything that was on our hands previously inside the butter and the, the pastry. Okay, and it's important to keep our hands, hands clean, clean, especially in this time with all the coronavirus and Go stuff. On. Okay, so what, what's the first thing that we need to do when we're going to start the forgotten? This is Blake, by the way, and this is Yasmin. So, okay, so the first thing that we need to do in making the pastry is what? Sieving the flour inside the bowl. Right. So how much uh, flour do we need? We need 750 grams of plain flour. Okay, so plain flour, what you can use is, at the moment I'm using just the normal plain flour of um, lamb brand. Obviously I couldn't find much flour at the moment since everybody, since everybody is hoarding the flour. So there are lots of other brands that you can use. Um, uh, this one is good as well, or a softer flour, um, a double zero can be used as well. Any brand uh, um, uh, should work fine. So basically, Yasmin is putting 750 grams of flour in the sifter to sift. Little by little, because we're going to make a mess of it, and then Blake's just going to hit it with here to make the flour. So if there's any ch like chunks of flour that are not fine, it will be a little bit more fine. Here we go. And also, when you sift the flour, you're adding air so in the, the pastry. The pastry will be more fluffy. Good boy, Blake. We have a bit left. Okay, go. Good. Doing a good job. Yeah, let's hope we don't make a mess of it. Doesn't matter, we'll clean it. Doesn't matter. Okay, that's it's more fun. So we've sifted the flour, mm -hmm. so the next step is... Blake, we, what's the next step after we do the flour? After the flour we need... What do we add to the flour? We need three, 350 grams of custard sugar. Yes, so we, we've measured 350 grams, we're going to put it into the flour. We don't need to sift this because the custard sugar is quite thin as of sugar. Okay, so Blake's gonna get the wooden spoon and you're gonna mix up the flour a bit so it mixes with the sugar. You can also add a pinch of salt. Okay, Blake, try and keep the flour in the bowl. <laughs> so we're adding a pinch of salt as and well. Don't add a lot of salt because it's okay. gonna be salty. Don't get out of All right, cool. So now, Next. after we've added, so so far we've added 750 grams of plain flour and 350 grams of custard sugar. So the next step is, is we're going to add pour. 350 grams of salted butter. Now this we're going to pour it in and mix it with our fingers like this. We rub the butter and the flour together. So each grain of flour is covered by fat and you mix it like very, like you could mix properly. Now brands of flour, um, you can either use, uh, I use uh, value. Um, because I find them good, yeah, um, as, as uh, butter and they're very well priced. Um, what I also do is sometimes I don't just use um, uh, um, butter, I add a bit of um, stork. I find it really good because it doesn't make the pastry so soft and easier to handle. So I, if for example there's 350 grams of butter, um, I will put, um, for example, 100 grams of margarine stork 
and the, the remainder will be uh, uh, butter, normal butter. Like I said, I use Value and uh, Stork, but there are other brands on the market that you can use as well. Um, they are as effective. Salted butter, um, even unsalted works fine as well, whatever you find. So now all you have to do is basically grab your butter and you rub the flour into it with your fingertips. It's like a messy part. Lots of fun as well though, right? Yeah, it's like feels like, I don't know how you explain it. If you want as well to make it a bit easier, and my husband's got a freak, is doing this. So, not that easy to do it. You can add the eggs, right? We have, okay, let's move these, because we don't need these. Stay doing this one. Uh, like cheese. All the butter <laughs> is like mixed with the flour. Like cheese. Right, Ma? Yeah, you're doing a good job. Okay. So you're just mixing in the butter with the flour, so you're not leaving any chunks of butter. important as well to clean as you go because if you don't clean as you go you're going to end up with everything everywhere so it's important to keep your work surface clean and your hands clean all the time so always keep like after every step wash your hands and hand sanitizer or whatever whatever you have on hand it's better to wash your hands with hot water and soap let me show you Blake look do it like this look so you're mixing it with your fingers and lifting it up and so we're making sure that all the butter is mixed in the flour. Okay, Blake. Come and sit with me, Blake, huh? Come here. That's a fun. I'm dirty. Oh, that's okay. You can put like a truck here or like, like a car. <laughs> Freeze it first. Okay. So as you can see that the butter is mixing with the flour. Like try and keep it on the table, not on the floor. And we're just making sure that it's all right. Mixed. Because if, if it's not all mint, you're going to have like chunks of butter. you have chunks of butter and it's going to taste bad. No, it won't taste not bad. It just won't be mixed well. I think like a, 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 a butter bowl. Mm. A butter bowl of this. Yeah. But you're trying not to melt the butter into the flour, like mixing it, not melting it. And so it's nearly done. Just maybe two more minutes. Okay, Blake. Yeah. 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 Never know, you might, might, we might open a program. Ooh. Yasmin and Blake's cooking show. Hmm? No. Okay, so as you can see, the butter, will, the, the flour, butter will, okay, the flour will be kind of like mold. You're done. Can I go for it? We have some more. Wash your hands in the kitchen. We. Okay. Because there's some butter. Yeah. That's why we wait for Blake to do the next step. And he's ready. The flour will be kind of like. Moldable like sand. So, mommies, you need to close a blind eye when doing this and just not care about the mess. Okay, so now we can see that the bud is added. Okay, so the bud is added. So, what you can do now is it's cool, you make like a. No, I'm like, not for you, too big. You could make like a well I'm gonna go wash my hands. Um, in a flour oh. mix. So you're making a well. What's a well? I'm sorry, we, we forgot. We forgot this. What's this, Blake? What's the next this step? This we need to. The zest, or we lemon. Need, we need to zest the lemon into a light little flakes. 
So you have to turn it around on the good boy. Can you see? Yes, bravo. Tiny lemon flakes. This is what you need for the flavor. And this is called zesting. So you can either use lemon or, or, orange. or, or orange. orange. Mine is a bit, maybe might be a bit too strong. So a lemon or, or orange zest would work. Whatever you have, basically. Whatever, whatever. And if the kids really don't like it, you can admit, admit, it, admit it as well. It's not or such you can a, put some But a bit of lemon adds a bit of a nice taste to the pastry. Okay. Now the egg yolks. No, I'm so the Blake's, gonna, it, right? Blake's gonna do the egg yolks though, and then you can mix it. Okay. So over here, what we have, for Blake's suggesting the lemon, we have um, the recipe was asked for four eggs, four egg yolks, and four um, egg whites. The we'll egg be using the egg whites like for the, the filling. filling and the egg yolks now for the pastry. Okay, so Blake, that's an obsessed on the top. Alright, come. Come on, Blake. I'm mixing this. Okay, so we've added the lemon zest. Blake's gonna now add the Blake eggs in the middle. In the middle. No, no, no. Mother no, side, no, no, like mix no, it like before. Do you want me to do it? No. Okay, you can. can I do it? No. no. Uh, with this. a spoon, bish. Uh, what's it called? I just like mix it. Okay. Looks like a huge just egg that exploded. Ma. Sorry. It looks like a huge egg that exploded. Like yeah. this, right? Yeah. Turned to flour. Yeah. 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 Yum. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it, Blake. Oh my god, how much egg yolks I have in my hands. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. My so if you see that the egg um, isn't enough to kind of incorporate the the okay, Blake is not to incorporate the pastry, um, you can add just, a bit of, just add a bit of water to kind of um, bring the pastry. To, okay, Blake, come here, it's okay. Add as much water as needed. I can't really tell you exactly how much until the pastry is like incorporated. So pastry together so you want me to help you a little bit or are you good? I think I'm good. Okay. Like this right? Yeah. I have some egg yolk stuck in my hand. So do this. So you're gonna get it off your fingers and you're gonna continue to work the the, the pastry until it comes what together. Put my hands. That's too much water. No, it's okay. Thank you. Probably yes, I can get it. Okay, probably get it. Put the egg um, egg whites in the fridge for now. Um, we don't really uh, need them for now. We need them for the filling. It's kind of incorporating a bit more. Like you know, it's an, it's like incorporating because it starts turning into like balls on your hands when you try and like remove it, which it's happening. You'll see, like you won't see as much more. I think we need a little bit more water. Now it's getting it's in it's starting. Yeah. It's starting to turn. If it, if you accidentally put a bit too much water, you can just add a bit of flour. The pastry is supposed to be sticky. Um, it will bind. So it is supposed to be a bit sticky at the beginning, which is fine. More. More. Right? More okay. good. Okay. okay, mini piece. A mini wall of baby love. What's this one like when they make cake? Or uh, when they make bread? More. More. They making things like... No, no, not even around, then you can put in this. Need any more water? I think we need a little bit. Let me, can I, can yeah. I just take over for a sec? <laughs> okay. <laughs> My hands are clean, I just Need, 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 need to talk to my hands. I think it's hard to put gloves, because they stick to the gloves. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Space in the fridge at the moment. I've got my fridge so full Mommy, with food. Why do you have the little paste? You have to put it in. You can't make it on the floor. That's easy. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Wait, Mark, can you put it in? Can you put the palm in one? No, no, not with it. Yeah. No, but then we need to do Okay, so that's ready to go in the fridge. Oh. We're going to leave this in the fridge for two hours. Um, and then we're going to work Keep on the next part the where we're rolling out. I wanted to tell you as well because. Somehow on the ingredients, like so sweet. On the ingredients, um, I forgot to write down that you need ground almonds. Um, so um, you can use um, ground pure almonds, or you can use substitute. Obviously, substitute almonds are much cheaper than uh, ground almonds. Um, so see, sorry. Yes, I'm going to get to that in a sec. Um, so you need um, to buy ground almonds. One kilo should be enough. We need 600 grams for the recipe. Um, but uh, how much you have. You can, you, they come in bags of a kilo. Um, as regards to ingredients, I wanted to speak to you a bit about ingredients. Um, since a lot of you are staying at home at the moment, um, there are a lot of cake shops that will deliver to you, which have next day delivery. Um, uh, for example, the Cake Story in um, Santa Venera, they have, an, they have a, an online shop where you can order online and they will deliver you the next day, um, uh, which is fantastic. So that avoids you going out and you will find anything that you need. Um, oh, the cake in, story and yes, the, ingredients, like cutters. Can I come here? Huh? Tin, um, sugar paste. There's also another Cup. shop in Meliaha called Cake Craft. Um, they deliver as well. So we're spoilt for choice in a way because you'll find all ingredients, flour, um, anything you need. To, so to make anything sweet. Yeah, the cake story in Santa Venera um, or Cake Craft in Meliaha. They both offer um, delivery, delivery, next day delivery. So it's fantastic. Okay, so we're gonna stick this into the fridge and we're going to see you in a few hours time to work on part two. Okay, right? Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Say bye, Blake. Bye.